A local pharmacy is forced to close its doors and pay a six-figure fine. Authorities say they were making medicine that could have made people sick. That's right. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaykent tells us what the pharmacists are saying in their defense. The state attorney general says operating a pharmacy is very serious business, and in this case, the health of patients was put at risk. The state law is very serious about uh, protecting public health, safety, and welfare. Michigan Attorney General spokesperson Joy Yearout is talking about a recent $100,000 fine and other penalties imposed against the South Lion Pharmacy. When you're talking about pharmaceuticals and having them not being made properly, uh, that could jeopardize people's health. It can jeopardize people's lives. Year Out says it stems from a discovery last October. You know, the state first got a report after a pharmacy at Henry Ford Hospital saw drugs compounded by specialty medicine, and they're supposed to be sterile. That means there's nothing in them, no contaminants. But the pharmacists, when they inspected their drugs, they found what they referred to as floaties, little green dots. And that clearly suggested that the manufacturing process was not sterile. No illnesses were reported, but the specialty medicine compounding pharmacy has permanently had its license revoked, and the owner is on a three year suspension. And in the opinion of nearly everyone who knows my client, Kenny Walkup, the Attorney General's office and the Board of Pharmacy were overzealous in their prosecution of my client. The pharmacist's attorney tells us by phone his client was using safe practices and even put in for all necessary licensing that the state claims he did not have. My client had never been denied such a license. He had applied for it, and it was held in limbo for various reasons that we don't think were appropriate. Either the Attorney General's Office or the Board of Pharmacy were able to prove or provide any evidence as to how the subject medication became tainted. So far, no criminal charges of any kind have been filed. The State Attorney General says he will continue to review this case and determine if further legal action is warranted. Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.